Hello guys, welcome to Roman's Review here on the Roman Roads YouTube channel. I'm Roman, and today we're reviewing Avengers Infinity War, which I just saw this afternoon. Uh, it came out last Friday. I wasn't able to get, get a chance to go see it uh, this weekend, uh, so finally got a chance this, e this afternoon to go see it. And I, I, this movie was a really good time. So I'm going to keep this review as spoiler free as I can because there's a lot of surprises in the movie and all the other reviews that I heard before I saw it were saying you don't want anything to get spoiled for you and I'm telling you the same, you don't want to get anything spoiled for you. So if you haven't seen the movie, this is the re review for you. I'm going to post a kind of spoiler conversation review uh, up on the channel a little later on, hopefully by tomorrow. Um, so that once you see the movie or if you have already seen the movie, you can skip around to that video. And I was lucky enough that this weekend nothing got spoiled for me. I tried to keep away from as many spoiler-filled reviews as I could. Tried not to read anything. And I'm so glad I did because this movie is like a roller coaster ride. From beginning to end, it's full, chock full of surprises. Things that I didn't see coming. And I really, really like this movie. And first off, I want to talk about some criticisms that I had about the movie. There weren't many. There may be a little nitpicks. Um, but um, there were some characters that... I didn't think they they used as much as they could. I wanted to see more from them. Um, they were there and they were doing stuff, but there were sometimes some characters that didn't get a lot to do. And then um, I just wish they had done more with them. And I can't really say more without spoiling it. But there are some characters kind of that sit on the sidelines. They're there throughout the movie, but not really doing much. And then boom, there's a moment that these characters get to shine. And they're great moments. But I kind of wish that the characters, some characters had a little bit more to do. And the other thing that, uh, minor cri criticism that I have was at the end of the first act, maybe the end of the first hour, things kind of slowed down a little bit and I was starting to get a little bored. I thought that it was kind of going to be a repeat thing where, you know, Thanos and the bad guys show up and the, the heroes fight them and then they go off and then they come back again da, 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 and it was going to be a repeat thing, which I thought at the, at the first half of the movie, first hour of the movie, I thought it was going to be a problem. Um, so kind of an, an hour in, I was like, I want things to kind of you know get get going and eventually they do but for maybe 10 15 minutes there i was kind of like eh, a little just kind of worn out until things got going again but when they get going they get going and the second half of the movie is brilliant and when i say brilliant i don't mean that this was the best movie ever or the best comic book mo movie ever because i don't believe that um it was really fun and really good and ha was well balanced with the action and the humor and the emotional stuff. Um, and for what it was, I think it pulled off what it tried to do perfectly. I went into this movie kind of thinking about it as a season finale of a TV show. And pretty much that's the best way that I can describe it without giving anything away. This is a hell of a, of a finale to a TV show, which I think the season was the first was it 18 MCU movies that came before starting with Iron Man and the Russos, the guys who directed this movie really pulled it off. And I think that that was a goal and they, they captured that perfectly. This movie does have a beginning, a middle and an end and it is a contained story, but it seems like it's kind of the, the end of one thing and kind of the beginning of another. And I'm really interested to see where the story goes in Avengers four. And uh, talking about kind of the past movies, there's a lot of references and nods to things that have happened in past MCU movies. So if you haven't seen all of them, I think uh, for an audience member who hasn't seen all those movies, they might not get uh, all the nods and references. And there might be some things that they may be lacking in terms of emotional depth and emotional payoff um, for everybody out there who's seen all the movies. You're going to love this movie. And it is really kind of a fan um for the fans of, of the series. But if you haven't seen the movies, you will thoroughly enjoy this movie. I just think maybe you won't have that little depth that fans of all the other movies or people who've seen all the other movies may have when watching this movie. I myself am lacking two of the movies. I haven't seen Thor Ragnarok and I haven't seen Spider-Man Homecoming. And there are threads in those two movies that I'm pretty sure there are things that end in Avengers Infinity War that were started in those movies. And I haven't seen this movie, so I kind of felt like I was left out, especially at the very beginning of the movie. I am going to go back to see those. Probably a sin that I haven't seen those movies. But I will go back and I'll probably rewatch Avengers Infinity War again um, after I see those two. Now, the pluses greatly outweigh the negatives 
And uh, I attribute a lot of that to the writing and to the actors and to the directors. And of course, everybody who did their did the part in making this movie, but especially the directors, the Russo brothers, they had such a big job on their shoulders in order to kind of restrain all the all the characters and the plot lines and really keep it grounded, which I think they did a marvelous job of doing. Um, this, this movie is chock full of characters, and what I loved was kind of like every character kind of had their own plot line. Those groups of characters that had their own plot lines going throughout the movie. And at first, I thought that might be a detriment because I thought I might be missing kind of the collective chemistry between all the characters. But they did such a good job in making the chemistries of all these little groups work so well. And they put characters together that I don't think you would imagine could work together or, you know, you haven't seen together. And they mined the, the relationships of those characters really well. And it paid off. And all the actors, they bring their A-game and they are their characters, you know, um... And you're, it's funny watching this because you see, you know, Iron Man standing next to Star Lord, you know, and the rest of the Guardians of the Galaxy next to Doctor Strange, and you see Captain America, you know, with the Hulk and all these characters, and it's just, I don't know how the Russos pulled it off to make the story seem so clear cut and understandable. When other movies I know who have they have different plot lines, sometimes it becomes a mess. One of the criticisms I had about the Last Jedi was kind of this whole thing of like there's different plot lines. And they're all leading towards the same goal, but in The Last Jedi, sometimes I didn't feel the emotional resonance connecting those plot lines. In Avengers Infinity War, the emotional connection is there, and it you know jumps from one thread to another, to another, to another, back and forth, back and forth. Uh, it does get a little nerving sometimes, but because you understand where everything's leading to, and the story's so tight that... I, it, it it wasn't a big bother and I really actually enjoyed it because it was like going from seeing what's going on in one section of, of the galaxy to another section of the galaxy what's going on in space what's going on, on earth and it's the emotional um, resonance and depth that the characters the actors bring to the characters and the storyline it connects everything and it makes everything flow so well and one of the things that really holds the story together is Thanos. And Josh Brolin does a hell of a job bringing Thanos to life. I've seen other movies where, you know, the villain is a CGI character. And you kind of lose the, the emotional connection to them. And sometimes they seem kind of cardboard, like cookie cutter, one-dimensional characters. But Thanos was a real character, you know. In the vein of Gollum or in the vein of, like, Caesar from Planet of the Apes. Um... Thanos is a real living breathing character in the movie you know sometimes the CGI is a little muddled you know isn't as best as it could be but Josh Brolin brings such an emotional punch to to Thanos that he, he just knocks it out of the park and I really believe that Thanos was you know on this quest to collect all the infinity stones for the infinity gauntlet and you know he raised half of humanity um and he was really scary because you understood where he was coming from. And they do kind of a backstory of, of what his story was. And I thought that that was also going to kind of burden down the movie. Because we haven't seen a lot of Thanos uh, in the previous movies. Especially haven't seen any of his story. Um, he's popped up here and there in little parts. Um, and I thought that I, for one, didn't really think he was going to work out. But... Everything works out with Thanos, and he is one of the great villains in one of the great comic book villains in cinematic history because Josh Brolin really makes him human. There's a human connection. You know, uh, I, I can't spoil anything, but at the end of the movie, there's a shot purely of Thanos, like a close up, and there's just such a gut wrenching feeling that I, that I had seeing that him. Um, at that point in the movie. And it's really funny how connected you can get to. You know in Avengers Age of Ultron. Ultron of course was a CGI villain. Uh, James Spanner did a good job with the character. But there was he seemed kind of robotic. Which he was a robot. And I thought Thanos would go the same round. But you know Thanos is a really big bad. That uh, is worthy of being in this movie. And he gives the heroes a run for the money. And one of the other things is all the characters kind of associated with Thanos or have some kind of relationship with Thanos. The Black Order uh, or the children of Thanos uh, who are like his henchmen who are coming to uh, 
find, help him find the Infinity Stones. And even characters like um, Gamora and Nebula, who are the adopted daughters of Thanos. You know, there is a storyline with all those characters and with how they're related to each other and, you know, and the kind of backstory and, you know, the emotional connection. And it's it's top notch storytelling. And, you know, this is a very I use the word emotional a lot. This is a very emotional roller coaster ride. This is a heavier movie than a lot of the other MCU movies. Um, there is a lot of. Well, I can't spoil anything. You know, there, there's a lot of tragedy in this movie. And it really gets you going from the from the opening scene out in space, you know, introducing Thanos um, all the way to the end. You know, it's, such, it's just a roller coaster ride. There are a lot of surprises and a few cameos in there that I won't spoil. And some that I did not see coming. So when you go in, be prepared to be surprised. Because it's a surprising movie. Um, there were a few characters, surprisingly, that weren't in the movie. And I really didn't notice until the movie was over. I was like, hey, where, are those, where were those characters? But I think that it's setting it up for Avengers 4. And just the the ending of this movie, which, I mean, I can't say anything. But this the ending of this movie is so perfect. It's devastating. It, it's satisfying. It's a very satisfying ending to this story. And it just kind of... It is an ending to this this part of the of the 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 MCU, uh, all these movies that came before, but it is really a be- also a beginning to what's next, and I'm really so excited to see what's next, and I'm even more excited for the for Ant Man and the Wasp, which is coming out later this year, because I think it's it might fill in some blanks um, to this movie, but we'll see. I'm not sure. So overall, I really enjoy this movie. The audience that I was with was kind of a small audience because it was a Monday afternoon. But they enjoyed this movie. One of the guys behind me thought that like every line was funny. This movie is funny, but this guy was kind of overplaying it. He was laughing at everything Tony Stark said. And I was like, okay, hey, calm down a bit. Um, but the audience ate it up. Uh, during the emotional parts, everybody was invested. During the, the, the humor, there was a lot of humor in this movie. Everybody was laughing. Everybody was having a good time. And it was a really great movie to see with an audience. I did get to see it in 3D IMAX. Because that was the showing, the early showing that um, was available. Because uh, I knew I needed to come back and record this this uh, review. Um, so, I I mean, any way you see it, I recommend it in IMAX. Because it was shot entirely in IMAX cameras. With IMAX cameras. And it's just such a good looking movie. Um, the special effects. 3D kind of ruined a few of the special effects. There were some shots where I was like, eh, it looks a little too fake. Too fake. I could see that they're on green screen. But overall, it's a comic book movie. And I think this perfectly encapsulates the comic book movie feeling and i think this is what comic book movies should be should strive to be um of course we got different movies like you know the dark knight a series of movies which is kind of a different feel this this is very comic booky you know what if what, what you've seen in the past for marvel a marvel at their a game expected here i really uh recommend this movie go out and see it as as quickly as you can if you haven't seen any other um MCU movies, don't let that stop you from watching this movie. You'll enjoy it. I think you'll you'll get the gist of what's going on for the most part. Uh, uh, but if you have seen all the movies, you're going to get a hell of a kick out of this uh, movie. Overall, I would probably give it an 8 out of 10 uh, if we were going to do kind of a scoring system. Um, it is is a really solid movie. Really great fun. Really funny. Really tragic in the best way possible. And I can't wait to see what happens in Avengers 4. So let me know down in the comments what you think of this movie if you've seen it. And I will go. I will post another uh, spoiler-filled review later on, hopefully tomorrow. So keep out for that. And if you want to watch more content here on the Roman Roads YouTube channel, you can check out our podcast, which is the Roman Roads Podcast. Uh, Roman spelled R-O-M-A-N. Roads spelled R-O-D-E-Z. It's a little confusing, but... Rhodes is the other guy that I talked to on the podcast. Check out our medleys, which are short short topic videos um, about whatever's going on in the news right now or whatever we want to talk about. And also, we've got some skits coming out and we've got some additional content. So if you like what you see on this channel, please subscribe, hit that like button, and I will come w- come back. <laughs> and I will be back with some more reviews, some more of the movies coming out. Um, so yeah, thank you for watching. Man, I gotta go see this movie again. It was a really good time.